Hey, Ben here from Fit50. Wanted to take a couple of minutes to give you a short video on how to use the workouts we've provided here on the Fit50 channel. So let's just get to it. Hey, just want to take a minute to share with you how to use the free stuff here on the Fit50 channel. So when you go to the top banner, there are three links in the banner. Uh, there's a philosophy and guidelines example. It tells you why we're doing what we're doing and how to think about nutrition while you're going through the plan. We also have two examples of workouts. Here's the slow gainer link and the fast gainer link. You can also access those on the introduction video description. So when you go to the video right here and then go to the description below the video, and there are the three links there as well. When you go to the links, for example, the philosophy and workout guidelines, it comes up for you. Then you can download that to your pad, your phone, or to your computer to read through all of that. Please do read through it because just going through a program without understanding why you're doing it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Also, there are two example programs. I'm just going to go to one of them. Here's a slow gainer. Slow gainers and fast gainers are divided into two different programs for the recovery. And that's all explained in the workout philosophy and guidelines. Let me show you what the exercises look like in the programs. So normally you'll come up with a page like this, go up here to the download and download that to your computer, your phone, and then you can access it in this way. And then zoom in on the workout, either on your phone or tablet, take it with you into the gym. You can read through the plan. This is a split routine, which means that you're gonna have a morning workout and an afternoon workout. If you can't do both workouts, that's okay. It's best to do two workouts if you can. They're short and you're just trying to get your metabolism going throughout the entire day to have better management of your caloric expenditure. But do do the morning workout because that way you're in the middle of your intermittent fasting and you need to have a me metabolic boost by including the workout. And that also helps protect the muscle that you may be starting to lose as a result of the prolonged fasting period. Once you're in the workout, we have the warm up section, the muscle work section, and the glycogasser section. We always finish up with the glycogasser to make sure we leave the workout out of breath. And that takes us into the post exercise period uh, burning at a higher rate before we go into our first meal of the day, which is around lunchtime. So if you forget how to do arm swings in the warm up, come to arm swings, click that, and it'll take you straight to the YouTube channel where arm swings are, and it'll show you how to do it. And the warm up exercises are indicated with a um, yellow WU. And then you can go back to the workout again, and I'm gonna come just over here, which is not the downloaded version. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I'll go to a muscle work exercise like uh, let's go to squat. And this is just a body weight squat, not a loaded squat. And it shows you how to do a squat exercise. And it's indicated by the red MW for muscle work. That way you know you're in the muscle work section. And then lastly, we'll come down here to a uh, glycogaster exercise. And maybe we want to see what, what's a sled push. So we'll go to that. We click over. We know we're in glycogasters because we're getting the blue GG down here, and here's our sled push example. So it's a quick way to see what the exercises are and how to use them, and that's all free to you. All right, that's it. All right, I hope that was helpful and you have a better idea of how to use the free PDFs that we've provided here on the Fit50 channel. Just remember, if you need personalized attention or personal instruction, Fit50 is available through PitFit at Pitt Instruction and Training in Mooresville, North Carolina. Come on by, we'd be glad to help you.